Hi Virgos, um, this is your weekly reading for January 10th to 17th. Um, welcome to Tube Tarot. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, this is my first of the weekly readings, so I appreciate you being here. Um, if it doesn't resonate, please look at your moon and rising sign. They're all kind of located there. All right, let's see what we got for you today. for Virgos for January 10th to 17th. All right, so it looks like here you might be kind of doubting yourself. Um, kind of feel like maybe you've gone through recently a little bit of a hard time. Um, definitely kind of feeling powerless. Um, feeling like you kind of want to give up in a weird way. Um, I see the two pentacles here as well, so there might be a decision or a choice financially, kind of which direction you want to go. I do have the four of swords here reversed, so it's all about action. Um, really, not a, now is the time to move forward, but it's almost like you're kind of blocking yourself here with the strength card reversed. Um, you don't feel powerful enough, or um, you're just tired. You're tired of things not going your way and the life not turning out the way you want it to be. Um, that's why we also have the two pentacles here. So there might be a decision where if you want to stay on the path you're on right now, or if there might be a new financial offer that's coming in for you here. Can you give me more information on this two pentacles? Please and thank you. Thank you. Page of Swords, yeah, uh, reverse. Yeah, the communication is not coming in. Whatever you're trying to manifest or whatever you're trying to uh, bring into your life, the opportunities aren't coming. So it might be kind of failing like the stuck energy here. The Fool, yeah, I think you're kind of ready for something new. You're ready for a new beginning, um, a new start. Um, time to, to switch it up a bit, because I don't think things, the communication or whatever the messages that you want are really coming forward there. Um, whether this is a job or if it's communication from, from someone, I think you almost, it kind of like, it feels like um, a waiting energy. Like you're kind of just like waiting for things to happen instead of making stuff happen for yourself. Give me some more information on this full card here, please and thank you. Yeah, so flipped upside down here. It's just kind of like things to look look at. We have the chariot reversed. Um, definitely, yeah, things just feel like they're staling. Things are things are stalling. They feel like they're not moving forward um, for you, and and that's just kind of an upsetting direction for yourself. You're just like, I want things to kind of move that forward as as we all do. So it looks like there's this new kind of start here, this new other option. Can you give me more information on what this other option is? What this maybe a new financial option is? Can you give me some information on this new financial? What this new financial offer can? Okay, so the Knight of Cups. So it seems like there is an offer on the way. So it might be a more of an um, emotionally stable offer. Um, something that is something that you've like manifested or that you kind of wanted in your life. Uh, this could be someone, this could be a relationship to Knight of Cups. It can be a relationship as well. It might kind of bring in a more emotional offer for you. It looks like it's coming in quickly. It's coming in faster with the Eight of Wands. It's fast communication. Can you give me more on this Knight of Cups? Oh, it might be a water sign from the past, getting the Six of Cups here. They might be coming in here to kind of shake things up for you. If not, it could maybe just be a water sign in general um, that's coming for, if this is a better job, it could be a more stable job. Might be someone in the past too that you've met, um, that you've met, um, that will kind of bring in this offer like it's a relationship that you've already had if this is work uh trust your intuition here we got the high priestess it's kind of virgo energy as well intuition um just make sure you're listening to yourself and in, in which way is um the right way to go because i think you know but it's almost like you're getting in your head a bit um here with that strength reversed you're feeling like you're just kind of feeling like you don't want to kind of fight anymore um, you're kind of giving up hope on that, but it looks like this new offer is going to be coming in for you. I have a little bit more information on this fast communication coming in for Virgos, please. The Emperor reversed. Um, so it might be an Aries that's coming in as well. Um, just watch 
watch with his emperor averse energy that it's um not someone that is say offering you the world and you're just taking it because you're desperate maybe there might be like a little bit of a it's a little bit of anger so maybe just watch out and really make sure maybe this is a bit of a warning to make sure that this opportunity is right for you um also could mean that it's kind of a loss of control of the situation so maybe it's the universe telling you you know what whatever is kind of coming your way just let it happen but make sure you stay kind of stable in your intuition there then more on this emperor reverse it's control four of wands a celebration be marriage yeah, maybe this is this Aries coming in for you that is coming to kind of like shake things up a bit. Maybe you had a direction of where you were going to go and then this Aries is kind of popping in. Okay, so it seems like almost like an emotionally stable offers on the way. You know, maybe you were cheated by this person, this past person in the past. Maybe they weren't kind of giving you um, what you wanted, but I have the Seven of Swords here reverse. So someone is truth is kind of coming to the surface here um so it might be this past connection where they were a little bit angry or um kind of in their ego um uh, but it seems like there would be a happy like resolution here queen of cups here as well so it could be a water sign i'm getting water fire um a little bit of uh water water fire pretty heavy here um maybe they're coming back with you with a more of an emotional offer it's funny because this kind of seemed like a career, but now it's kind of moving into love. Okay, weird. So then we got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So an unhappy family. Can you give me more on that? Got the five. Interesting, okay. So I got the Ten of Pentacles reversed here as well. And... The five of wands and the two of wands reversed. So it seems this little bit of conflict, maybe this was a past relationship too, or someone from the past where you had a lot of conflict from them. Um, maybe you've been waiting for them to kind of come see you and to, to bring themselves back in. Um, the two of wands, he's kind of holding the world here. So maybe you're you were kind of expecting for things to come in or this person to come back into your life. But it kind of looks like right now that they're not. Um, and it kind of, maybe you were expecting marriage with this person with the Four of Wands. Um, maybe you thought this was for sure going to be someone that was going to be one of your life partners. But it kind of seems like, it kind of seems like you've been waiting for a while for them to come back. And we got the Five of Cups here. So it kind of seems like this, there's kind of going to be a loss with this person. It kind of seems like this person from the past might have been someone that you were really hopeful for, for the marriage that will kind of come through. Um, they might be coming through with an apology or they might be kind of opening up by the truth of what they were feeling in the situation. But I don't think that this is the match for you. I don't think this is, um, I don't think this is the right person for you generally uh, coming from this read here. Um, so it could be this water sign. Yeah, I just don't think it just aligns with with kind of what you're looking for anymore. Um, can I have this like more of this two pentacles, this financial or this weighing option? Because it kind of moved into a love reading there, which I mean I don't mind, but page of pentacles. Uh, Page of Pentacles reversed and Hammer reversed. So that's you reversed. Maybe you're not in your element right now, Virgo. Like it, it seems like maybe this past energy might be taking up more of your time. Um, it's interesting. It's it, you're not taking the time out to kind of be with yourself and really focus on um, how to move forward, which is interesting here. Page of Pentacles. Maybe someone's not coming in with a reliable offer. So it kind of seems like. It kind of seems like things uh, for you aren't kind of manifesting the way you want them, especially job-wise. You might have lost a job um, or maybe someone's not coming in. This pentacles here too could be an earth sign, so the earth, earth, fire, water, any of these signs here from the past um, that kind of didn't bring you stability. Um, just watch out for that. This could be a test kind of to see if you've really grown and moved forward. A magician here yeah manifesting what you want pretty close to leo's as well um time to manifest you know time to bring in a new opportunity into your life 
Um, it looks like you've had definitely a lot of financial troubles in, uh, in the past and you're kind of looking for something new. So make sure you bring that manifestation forward for whatever it is. If it's for a stable career, for it's, if it's for a relationship as well, just make sure you're kind of manifesting and kind of clear what you want. Is there any other information here? Any other information here for Virgos? Temperance, yeah, time to balance out the life a little bit. Keep things kind of moving forward. Might be a Libra coming in as well, but sorry, not a Libra, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, just a lot of fed up energy. You seem pretty fed up right now. Tired of things not going your way. But there will be a victory. There will be a victory at the end of all this. Just like the information I think is coming in now is believe in yourself, keep pushing forward, and have the strength to really go after what you want. Start manifesting it, right, with Magician here. Um, take some time out to really figure it out what it is you want um, and kind of get out of the stuck energy here too. Someone from the past might be coming in to give you an offer. Um, it's going to be your choice if you want to take it or not. Um, really trust your intuition and kind of see where you're going and really ask yourself if this aligns um, with where I want to be in the future. I'm going to pull some oracle cards here from the situation as well. See what we got. Thank you hostilities um it's definitely moving forward you're just feeling hostile about life i don't think you have you're kind of feeling like you're just going to be let down again and things aren't going to go your way um so you're kind of hostile about uh, making something new you're kind of fear you're letting fear control your life in the sense of letting fear <clears throat> stop you from doing uh, something new or trying something new or doing what you want and this fear these hostilities are kind of keeping you stuck in this place of the past here these hostilities are keeping you from uh, moving forward or new opportunities coming towards you because it's almost like you're comfortable in this fear and 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 that's keeping you stuck um not really going after what you want right Just scared that I got just drawn to the Five of Cups again. So it's just fear of loss, fear that things won't go your way again. It's the Moonology Oracle. A new start is coming. So just like I said, just hold on tight. Uh, keep pushing forward. There is a victory on its way for you, but you kind of got to get yourself out of this stuck energy. I hope that helped, Virgo.